Greetings, this is Black Light. You know, uh, this video is going to be about how the black man is shooting his own self in the foot, how the black man and woman is handicapping their own self. They refuse to change. They refuse to uh, transform their minds into to be winners or champions. They don't mind uh, showing the Caucasian on the football field. You know, as long as you got the white man spectating and he's not uh, against you because you're making money for him. So you show out for the white man no matter what genre you in. So He's your He's influential to you, the white man. In the meantime, I heard uh, Elder Pharaoh. Pharaoh said that, I hope you uh, run across this, uh, this uh, video of mine. And if you're really sincere, because you got a lot of followers. I don't have that many brothers and sisters following me and we talking about a shy rack shy town and I'm gonna tell you when I was younger you know you know brother me I don't know if you're old as me but uh, you could relate to this in Detroit there ain't no punks here in Detroit man Chicago, they got a history of uh, gangsterism, same as Detroit. All the big cities had a, a little touch of Al Capone, and we had the Purple Gang here. Cities was founded on corruptions, man. So, everybody is corrupt. Everybody. Everybody got their point where they could be bought off. Everybody got fear in their heart. For one another and fear from the the big monster, the beast. But when you unite, you strengthen those numbers. See, I heard you telling uh, one of your, uh, in the chat room, uh, one of your viewers that uh, don't nobody got time to talk to the young boys. No, you got time, but you, you want to make that money. See, that's why these young boys are scaring the elders. The elders are afraid of their youth because they don't want to uh, Whoop the, you know, you, you find that black chick, black people don't even want to whoop their kids no more, man. You know. You find out now that these young parents, they, they let their kids get away with things that uh, our parents wouldn't. So what what you going to do? You're going to have to get... Everybody on your block 
So we uh see a lot of black people go to churches. And they go in there and pray. That's a way to escape the situation. You know. So for a hundred years you've been going to churches and the situation began getting worse. So, so when you go to church, you got to go back to the neighborhood. Somebody get killed. Go back to church, have a funeral, you know. In the meanwhile, your enemy, your real enemy, Caucasian, he's planning for your demise. But you can't get them young boys to see that because uh, they don't think no further than uh, the, next, the next minute. You know, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't know how to plan for nothing. They don't know how to, one thing they plan for is getting, getting drugs and putting their people in a worse condition. And that's all what's happening. And that kind of mental attitude is, is reinforced every day on uh, these movies and this music and whatever. But the adults... When you grow up, you 30, 35, uh, most of y'all conditioned to the city, you know. In other words, you got to make them bills. You don't want to be, you don't want no, your neighbors to see your lights cut off. You don't want the uh, neighbors to see your car re repossessed, you know. The repo man coming and taking your car away. You just worry how good you look in the hood. And uh, that's it. But it is a way. A few of y'all that talk about it on YouTube, that talk about it. It's a thousand of y'all I see, you know. Trying to find out what can you do about Chicago. Well, it ain't only in Chicago. It's everywhere you go. Corruption and crime is everywhere you go. So you might not, it not, might not be as large because Chicago is a big city. But it's everywhere. But what it is with these young cats, they ain't brave and as bad as they think they are. Except on the YouTube. And who y'all have as examples of leadership like Sinetta and Young Pharaoh and Seti and Poppy Hassan and all these all these little con artists and pimps, you know, y'all hold them up real high. So what, what, what the elders got to do is change that, that mindset. It got to start within the elders first, though. Now, once you see all these organizations unite, because I heard the brother say, well, the Nation of Islam, they ain't big enough for the city. Well, what about the NAACP, the churches, the uh, Al Shopton's? Uh, where this group is, that's the problem. Y'all, not we not united with one another. And since we're not united with one another, you ain't gonna get the youth to unite or the younger ones to unite. If not, if the NAACP was to get with the Moors, the Moors get with the Hebrew Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites with to get with the Nation of Islam, and some of these churches, and unite together, you got enough people there, and plus in each city, if something ain't going right, 
in uh, one of the cities, you march on the on that city. It can be done, because why? The Million Man March showed you that. The Million Man March showed you. It was more than a million brothers that came out. We can do it, we did it once, we can do it again. Let a million men, let uh, two or three million men march on Chicago. Go to every house. You know we don't be. You now we when we march on Chicago, we don't just be talking about speeches. We be chasing the rats out their rat holes. You know. What can they do with a with a couple of million cats, black black men, strong black men? They can't do nothing with us. They ain't got enough bullets, man. And don't forget, some of us got some bullets too. You run them suck suckers off the face of the planet. I know they 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 young, and you 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 know you're supposed to be tender towards the young. But these cats is insane in the membrane. You can't talk to them like you said. If they need a spanking. Some of them need worse than that. And if you that don't just apply to the to the young uh, rebellious black boys and, and girls, that applies to the police that's shooting you up. That that two or three million brothers, uh, like say for instance, they shooting black, they killed a black boy in uh, New York. Two or three million brothers marched march to New York. And make sure justice is done. See? But we so busy arguing with each other. You know, we can never have that million man march again. You know. Half the people, mostly all the people in the world today, they are afraid to unite. You know, they they scared. They got fear in them. Them young boys ain't got no fear in them because they're young and crazy. And they don't have fear, but they got fear for the police because when the police come, they run. You don't see them shooting it out with the police. When they kill somebody, they, they, they get caught and go to jail. If they was that tough, they kill somebody, they'll shoot it out with the police. But they don't. So they even they scared. You know. They not really warriors man. They just crazy. You know. Out their minds. It ain't about the money either. You know. Because. You don't see them trying to rob Fort, Fort Knox. They were so tough. Rob Fort Knox. You know. Rob, rob the Federal Reserve. So they ain't warriors, man. They just stupid and crazy. You know? If you gonna if you my mama always told me if you're gonna do something no matter what, what it is, good or bad, do it big. You know. It, it, always go to the top. Don't care who it is. You got a beef with the president of the United States, go to the top. But the president of the United States, they got guards and stuff surrounding them with, with guns. So the brothers ain't going ain't gonna to beef with them. So they, they shoot, they ambush a brother, you know, and shoot a brother. They ambush him and shoot him without him being suspected anything going down but they don't have no showdown like they used to cowboys used to have they used to say uh, get your gun meet me in, meet me uh, at sundown see who gonna settle this argument they don't do that and they have a showdown <laughs> these some scary guys man they 
they sneak you, they kill you without your, when your back is being turned or you without you expecting it, you know. Uh, but they ain't going to throw down with you. If you got a gun and they got a gun, they not going to fight you face to face unless they got a boy behind you with a gun. When he pull his gun, man, you, you pull yours and we you get him in a crossfire. They, don't, they ain't going to do it man to man. And then you tell them to put down the gun and go, and go fist. They're not going to do it. You know, they rely on that gun, man. They ain't all that tough. They just crazy. You know, they thinking is off. But you're supposed to be smarter than them. They're supposed to be smarter than them. There's always ways to, to uh, deal with a situation. But if you just a stupid and crazy as they are, you ain't going to never be able to resolve the, the situation. It ain't about being the hardest. It's about being the smartest. Black light.